audience questions. You guys, yeah. If you have questions for Christina, well, we gathered a few. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is mm -hmm. from Jaya from DeSoto, and she wants to know how you got discovered. Jaya, where are you? Hi. Um, how did I get discovered? That's a great question. Um, well, a magical thing happened on June 30th of 2010 at around 8 p.m. Uh, <laughs> specifically. Uh, this TV show called So You Think You Can Dance played a minute and a half of my song called Jar of Hearts. And at the time, I was just a waitress and it was just a demo. So it's sort of, I kind of felt like Cinderella. And uh, by midnight, my whole life had changed. And uh, I flew to New York City, and I played little showcases sort of like this for seven different record labels, and I was super nervous. And 21 days later, I signed a record deal. And then I've been doing this now for five years. So, that's my favorite story. But, but I've been writing songs since I was 15, and I just happened to uh, give it to the right person at the right time. Um, and this question comes from uh, Jennifer Stanley. Jennifer, where are you? Right here. Hi, Jennifer Stanley. Hi. Um, she wants to know the song Jar of Hearts. Was yes. that written for anyone in particular? Oh, for sure. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you guys a little story. Um, so I wrote that song about Jar of Hearts, that's what we call him. And um, we actually call him Jar. And um, so, uh, yeah, I, it was someone I dated on and off for like six whole years, and it was a very unhealthy relationship which sometimes we find ourselves in, and we have sometimes trouble getting out of them. And so um, I had, um, we had broken up for like the millionth time, and he called me um, when I came home to visit, and this is like years later after we had really broken up and he called me again and I was like, I said no, like no way. And then like it was the first time I meant it. You know that feeling when you're a guy or, or a girl and like you don't know when you're gonna be over the person you're sort of pretending the whole time until one day you say no and you mean it. And you're like, oh my God, this is so great. <laughs> and so I didn't go out with him instead. I stayed home and I wrote this song. And then fast forward about, um, about a year and a half um, I was playing my first hometown show in Philadelphia, and um, I had 300 family members there. And I did my whole set, and the very last song I played was Jar of Hearts, and so I'm telling the story on stage. And I don't know, I didn't know he came. I didn't see him. Yeah, yeah, wait, it gets so good. And so he came to the show, and I didn't see him. It was like a movie, because I didn't see him the whole time, and then right when I said, this song is called Jar of Hearts, he stepped into the light. And I was like, like I almost threw up, and instead I was like, oh no, no, this is gonna be the best F you I have ever said. And, uh, and so I played it, and I looked right at him. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>